white nationalist Richard Spencer drew some big crowds both inside and outside the Phillips Center at the University of Florida. You had protesters lining the street across from the venue. Inside, though, you had that boisterous crowd that drowned Spencer out every time the microphone even came close to his mouth. News Channel A's Steve Andrews kicking off our team coverage on this from Gainesville. And Steve, uh, I mean, it, it turned ugly, but fortunately not too violent. Exactly, Keith, and good evening to you from Gainesville. I have seen some very hostile environments in my time, but the crowd here at the Phillips Center today was one of the most hostile I have ever witnessed. Richard Spencer started the day in attack mode, then got a taste of his own medicine. White nationalist Richard Spencer and his supporters arrived in Gainesville triumphantly. In the name of free speech, they threatened litigation if the university banned him. <laughs> Students at the Phillips Center drowned him out with their chantings. You are cowardly trying to shut down a movement that is growing, that's going to stand up for white people, that, to be honest, is going to stand up for the oppressed. Spencer's first course of business in Gainesville was to attack NBC's Kerry Sanders at a press conference, claiming a Sanders story was inaccurate. Will you retract the statement? either on Twitter or right here. The story stated Spencer only provided tickets to his event to his extremist followers. Why don't you just correct the record? Richard Spencer's political movement is about race identity. He contends the European culture in America is being undermined, something I asked him about. How do you square the fact that part of your message is trying to stop the deconstruction of the European culture when you're banned in most European countries? Uh, I'm actually no longer banned in most European countries. I had a three-year Schengen ban, uh, and I'm still banned in the United Kingdom, and my last name is Spencer. It's a great irony. The real irony is the man whose rallies are tied to violence and death in Charlottesville and demanded his First Amendment rights was heard by very few. Now, Richard Spencer advocates that all white nation state and that whites should not live with minorities or Jews. The event itself was very, very loud, very unwelcoming, but with a massive police presence here at the Phillips Center, went off without incident. Keith. Steve, obviously, is, is the conflict sort of the fuel that keeps his fire burning, but why is he targeting universities? I mean, why specifically the University of Florida? Well, by bringing his political movement to universities, he gets attention, and he got a lot of attention this week. Spencer is also trying to attract white intellectuals to his political movement. And I think what has to be noted here as well is that the University of Florida has one of the largest Jewish student bodies in the country. I think he was trying to send a message, Keith. Steve Andrews reporting from Gainesville tonight. Thank you.